you sure there was nothing there? I mean, I, I could have sworn I, I filmed a whole bunch of scenes about talking about how um, this quote-unquote Johnny Depp, well, that's that's his United States of America name, but he was born on a so sovereign nation out west years before years before I was, and he was he was taught in sacred Native American church uh, and and their their own sovereign tribe and policies through shamanism and etc. to model himself after me because I was. Uh, you know, kind of bound to happen on, uh, you know, and well, uh, my nanny, you know, um, who was born in 1898, wound up traveling. She wound up doing a country tour and she wound up doing, you know, having a whole lot of friends that were also touring under, uh, you know, certain other reasons and, and things like that. And um, so at first he, he, he kind of grew into what he was, you know, what, like what he was told and how he felt like he should be as far as how he was schooled under certain like sovereign nations and national Native American church things. And so he came out with his first couple of films and they were Nightmare on Elm Street and Platoon. Nightmare on Elm Street was based on New London City actual events. Um, <clears throat> and he, he actually, at one point in time, I, I actually looked a lot like he did for one reason or another. It was while I was going to high school. And I was having a really hard time um, because I, 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 you know, I, I cut my hair like I would since 2003 and et cetera to ship shape, you know, tit tot tight as far as, you know, son of a sailor, son of a son of a sailor sort of thing. So and uh, try, try my my darndest to, to learn at the appropriate learning level, considering off of every other on and off of every other boat that's ever landed at Fort Trumbull submarine dock. And somehow I'd get there and it'd be remedial studies. And next thing you know, I have long hair that's like curly and wavy and I was like white for a very long time. And my eyes just weren't mine and I wasn't speaking in English. And then next thing you know, I had like curly rings, like like ringlets, like down my face. Like, uh, uh, you know, instead of sideburns, I have ringlets. And eventually I made it to the city and I went down there instead of to the to the public school, the high school. And um, my haircut stayed, and all sorts of other stuff. Unfortunately, I got some kind of weird tattoo on my left arm when it was like that. And then um, six months later, we got the note that Johnny Depp was doing his Pirates of the Caribbean film, and he would be in New London Harbor, ish or whatever they called it, in Long Island Sound, and hopefully parking at the at the New London dock for his Pirates of the Caribbean with a with a, a boat from the first film. And he looked like that later on. Not necessarily 100% dressed like Jack Sparrow, but he felt he, he he was just felt more accomplished with himself I think, and felt felt like his physical person, you know, like he was able to relax and stuff like that for his own reasons. And though we haven't met since that, you know, I, 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 I wound up really did look, looking like him a whole lot from, you know, platoon in Vietnam. And consequently, I felt a whole lot more comfortable looking like how I would dress myself instead of, you know, due, due to, uh, you know, uh, you know, like service regiment, etc. It's like as if I was being the Navy, although I applied for the Green Peace instead of like, who would they call me? They'd call me like Daniel the Lion or something. And I'm like, this is public schools and stuff. And yeah, but she really likes you sort of deal. It's like you were given a, a practice sex partner for health and you're expected to court her for these things in these ways and I'm like but this uh oh boy it was strange so in the past yeah four